He has given himself, his body, his family, his time to this city, to these people for over 20 years. We owe it to him. It's our turn now. The High Point Police Department rallying around an officer's family. Officer David Dullin has served our community for decades and now he needs our support. David's 16 year old son was in a serious car crash on Halloween and remains in the hospital in critical condition. I got a chance to talk with David's supervisor and longtime friend this afternoon about the toll this is taking on David's family and the entire police department. We have all fought back tears all week, you know, um, since it's all happened. When you get a call that there's a crash, that's one thing. But when you get a call that there's a crash and it's somebody you know, um, or it's your part of your family, that's that's completely different. Lieutenant Travis Reams was at work at the High Point Police Department on Halloween when he got the call. A fellow officer's son, Caleb Doolin, had been in a crash. Troopers say the 16 year old was driving along Finch Farm Road in Trinity when he crossed the center line, ran off the road and overturned. Troopers say speed was a factor in the crash. More than a week later, I spotted broken glass and car debris in the area. To see him go through this, uh, to see his family suffer the way they've suffered, um, and see Caleb in the condition that he's in, is it, it's hard. The crash left Caleb, an Eagle Scout, and a brother to four siblings with a traumatic brain injury. Lieutenant Reams calls his friend, Officer David Doolin, every morning to get an update on his son. The breathing, his breathing is uh, an issue and it continues to be for the last couple of days now. Um, but he uh, ov overall is doing steady. A step in the right direction is, is all we're looking for. Um, David and, and Shana understand that this, that this is a long road, regardless. During that long road to recovery, David's friends and co-workers plan to be there every step of the way, praying and hoping for the best outcome. In my brain, it's not an option whether we're doing it for him. Of course we're going to do it for him because he would be right here doing the same thing for me. The High Point Citizens Police Academy Alumni Association is collecting donations to help the Doolin family with medical bills, food, gas, and other expenses. There's also a t-shirt fundraiser going on. We'll put a link to that on our website, myfox8.com.